breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. Hypop denounces cannibalism, says cannibals arrested in Southeast North members. Hypop denounces cannibalism, says cannibals arrested in Southeast North members. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, I greet you and um, welcome you to today's news. Hype up denounces cannibalism, says alleged cannibals arrested in Southeast North members of Pro Biafral Group. The group also blamed the Imo State Governor of Uzodima for the recent abductions and gruesome killing of traditional ruler in the state. The indigenous people of Biafral Ipop has denied that any of its members are cannibals following the recent arrest of alleged cannibals said to members of the pro Fraud group and the and its military wing eastern security network esn the group also blamed the imo state governor op uzodima for the recent abductions and gruesome killing of traditional rulers in the state it disclosed this in a statement by its spokesperson, Emma Powerful, which was made available to Sahara reporters on Tuesday. The general public should understand that those behind the orgy of kidnapping and barbaric killings in Imo State have no link whatsoever with the ESN inaugurated by our leader in December 2020. The monsters recruited and nurtured by Hope Uzodima and his co-travelers are the ones unleashing mayhem on our people in their desperation to demonize ESN personnel and IPOP volunteers. We strongly condemn the cannibalism and atrocities of these criminals. The camp found at Inquiry and other places where the roasted human beings are kept are, and kept kidnapped victims in the camp is not IPOP ESN camp. We have nothing in common with agents of death, and we don't engage in barbarities and cannibalism of sorts. What is happening in Imo State, particularly in Oisu 2 Eka, Nepi, Ibiso Ebe, Awo Umama, Oru, Oru East, and Oru West, Inquiry, and their everyone's including Osumogu, an entire Iala local government of Anabra State, at the original plant of Hope Uzodima to demonize Biafran agitators and ESN operatives and tag them as criminals, but unfortunately, his plan failed him. His boys have turned their weapons against his people. IPOP ESN operatives don't engage in raping and kidnapping. That's not part of their mandate. They are out to defend them against Fulani terrorists and headsmen. Hypop denounces cannibalism, says alleged cannibals arrested in Southeast, not members of Pro Biafra Group. The group also blamed the Imo State, the Imo State Governor, Pop Uzodima, for the recent abductions and the gruesome killing of traditional rulers in the state. The indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop has denied that any of its members are cannibals following the recent arrest of alleged cannibals said its members of the pro biafra group and its military wing eastern security network esn the group also blamed the imo state governor of uzodima for the recent abductions and gruesome killing of the traditional rulers in the state it disclosed this in a statement by its spokesperson emma powerful which was made available to Sahara reporters on Tuesday. The general public should understand that those behind the orgy of kidnapping and barbaric killings in Imo State have no link whatsoever with the ESN inaugurated by our leader in December 2020. The monsters recruited and nurtured by Ob Uzodima and his co-travelers are the ones unleashing mayhem on our people in their desperation to demonize ESN personnel and IPOP volunteers. 
We strongly condemn the cannibalism and atrocities of these criminals. The camp found at Equerry and other places where they roasted human beings and kept kidnapped victims in the camp is not IPOP ESN camp. We have nothing in common with agents of death and we don't engage in barbarities and cannibalism of salt. What is happening in Imo State, particularly in Osu Itekua, Nepi, Ibi Aso Ibi, Awo Mama, Olu, Oru East and Oru West, Inquiry and their everyone, including Osumogu and entire Ihala local government of Anambra State, are the original plans of Pope Uzodima to demonize Biafra agitators and ESN operatives and tag them as criminals, but unfortunately, his plan failed him. His boys have turned their weapons against his people. IPOP ESN operatives don't engage in raping and kidnapping. That's not part of their mandate. They are out to defend them against Fulani terrorists and Earthmen.